بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از راہیلہ مقصود آئی ایم این اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر کمپیوٹر سائنس ان گورمنٹ گرلس کالج آف کامرس اینڈ اکنامکس کراچی دس ٹیوٹوریل از اباؤٹ آپریٹنگ سسٹم دس از ویری امپارٹنٹ ٹاپک فار کمپیوٹر سائنس اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ فار بی کام فائنل اسٹوڈنٹ Let's start off with objectives. Hopefully, by the end of this topic, students will be able to define the operating system. They will understand the interaction of hardware and software with operating system. Identify the functions of an operating system. Learn about the environments or interfaces of operating system. Before going ahead, you must have some previous knowledge about the types of computers like mini computers, micro computers, desktop computers, laptop computers, digital and analog computers, general purpose computers, special purpose computers and their uses. Basic terminology of a computer system like hardware, software, firmware, data and information. input and output devices what are input devices like keyboard mouse scanner and output devices like monitor printers plotters parts of system unit like processor power supply usb ports ram and rom cache memory storage devices primary storage, RAM and ROM, secondary storage like DVDs, CDs, Blu-ray discs, USBs and even online storage. Now about software, there are two broad categories of software like system software and application software. And system software can be further categorized into operating systems, utility programs, device drivers and language translators. Here we have selected the principal component of system software that is operating. Now, what is operating system? Do you know that you and your computer speak different languages? Your computer can't speak French, English or Chinese. It speaks in ones and zeros. You can communicate directly with computer by operating system. It allows you to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak the computer's language. The operating system can be defined as an integrated set of programs that controls the resources. What resources? The CPU, memory, input, output devices of a computer system. and provide its users a broad platform to run programs, to execute programs in an efficient manner. This picture shows that operating system is acting as a communication bridge between the user and the hardware. Operating system provides a platform on which a user can execute programs in a convenient and an efficient manner. Operating system is the first program of your computer. You load other softwares on your operating system, creating layers of softwares on your computer. Without operating system, a computer is useless. Now, what does an operating system do? What is the job of an operating system? Operating system is the first program your computer loads. When you turn it on, computers need an operating system to function. Goal of operating system is to close the gaps between the high level programming and the backbone hardware on which your programs are supposed to execute. Now what an operating system has to do? 
operating system manages all of the software and hardware on the computer. Most operating systems do basic things. They interact with hardware peripherals at the basic level, like they interact with keyboard, display unit, disks, memory, moving files around, processor, printer, and with application software at the front. It is the master control program interacting hardware and software. Operating system coordinates central processing unit, memory, and storage and make sure each program gets what it needs. Mostly, there are several different computer programs running at the same time and they all need to access your computer's central processing unit, memory, and storage. Now, this is the job of operating system. It manages all of this to make sure each program gets what it needs. Make application software portable and versatile. That means it makes application softwares easy to operate, like mostly in desktop computers. We are using Windows. Windows make easier for us to work with Microsoft Word, Spreadsheet, Access, or any other software. It improves overall system reliability. Overall system performance improves, become error-free, systems become error-free, speedy, switching between different applications become consistent, provide isolation, security, and protection among user programs. I operating systems isolate, that means they separate hardware from the user. The user communicate with the operating system, input data, and receive output. However, all tasks are performed by operating system automatically. User is not concerned what operating, operating system is doing or how it is directing hardware. Finally, it makes computer user friendly. This picture is the complete description of operating system. Here, operating system is interacting with hardware like CPU, monitor, printer, mouse, and keyboard, and interacting, interacting with application software at the front. Now, for controlling hardware, operating system uses small software programs called drivers and operating systems have built-in drivers for more complex hardwares like CPU, monitor, keyboard, and mouse. For, that, for these type of devices, operating systems have built-in built drivers. And these drivers aren't exactly part of the operating systems. They are designed by the hardware manufacturer. But when we install a new piece of hardware like printer then we have to install a program to manage it or the operating system also runs all computer applications which are designed to perform some specific task here are few functions of operating system. In different sources, you will find different examples. Here I've chosen some of them, so you need not to be confused. Firstly, let me brief you about memory management. Memory management. The data should be relocated to and from the main memory in such a manner that the currently running process is not affected. How does it manage memory? Here is the main memory, primary memory or RAM and this is the hard disk. Now what it does? It optimizes the function of RAM by making the portion of hard disk function as RAM which is called virtual memory in other words. Firstly, operating system transfers the least recently used data and programs to the disk and make RAM free for other functions. 
but when REM needs the operating system again transfers those data and program functions back uh, from the disk to the RAM back again. The second device management. The management of I.O. devices such as keyboard, magnetic tape, disk, printer, microphone, USB ports, scanner, camcorders. It involves installing devices and performing security measures. As you can see here in this picture, the device manager program of Windows, it shows all the peripheral devices which are attached to the system. Device manager allows user to view and control the hardware attached to the computer. When a piece of hardware is not working, the offending hardware is highlighted for the user to deal with. Function is process management. Before defining process management, you must know what is a process. A process is a running program. It is the smallest unit of work which is individually scheduled by the operating system. A multitasking operating system allows the computer to perform many different tasks. Operating systems can be single tasking and can be multitasking. Single tasking operating systems are those which performs a single task at a time and multitasking are those which can perform multiple tasks at the same time. So here process management does the job of a multitasking. How it performs multitask? That CPU can because CPU can only focus on one process at a time. CPU cannot perform different processes at the same time. The operating system tells the CPU to give each process a very short time slice. This happens very fast and it seems like processes are occurring at the same time. Like here is an example of quadratic equation program, which is done by multi, multiple users. Multi users are sharing this quadratic equation program at the same time. Creating, maintaining, managing and scheduling are the tasks performed by the process management. Security. The protection offered by operating system is security. The operating system must offer the guarantee of the provided services. The operating system security is the process of ensuring operating systems integrity, confidentiality and availability. Operating system refers to specified steps or measures used to protect the operating system from threats, viruses, worms, or remote hackers. And this security may be appro approached in many ways, like performing regular updates, installing updated antivirus software, scrutinizing all incoming and outgoing network traffic through a firewall, creating secure accounts by user management. Like in Windows, there is a Windows firewall and we have to set it on to prevent our system from unauthorized access or any virus attack. Error de detection. This is another important function of operating system. An error is one part of the system and it may cause malfunctioning for the complete system. Let's suppose operating system con continuously monitors production of dumps, stresses, error messages and its debug and detect errors. Let's suppose if hard disk is not working properly and you are going to install any software, then this error message is generated by the operating system. This service is not allowed to be handled by users. This is automatically done by operating system. Coordination between software and users. Operating system enable coordination of hardware components 
and coordination and assignment of compilers, interpreters, assi assemblers and other softwares to the various users of the computer. It helps to manage resources like processor, memory, storage, hardware and other peripheral devices. One of the example is when we click any application, the operating system at the same time manages the resources to e execute that program. Another function is job accounting. As operating system tracks an account of all the functions taking place in the computer system at a time. As you see this picture, this is this operating system is maintaining a database of logs of exceptional activities of system. For example, when any user tries to enter wrong credentials, the job accounting process records that activity in the log with date and time. And this information is useful in anticipating the need for future enhancements, enhancements and in tuning the system to improve performance. Disk management or file systems. The operating system manages the files, folders and directory systems on a computer. Any data on a computer is stored in the form of files. The purpose of file manager is to create, edit, copy and allocate memory to files. This source this service is provided by operating system. The user does not have to worry about secondary storage. User gives a command to read and write and sees task, task accomplished. Let's move on to the interfaces of operating system. The two most common types of interfaces are the command line interface and the graphical user interface. The command line interface is a text-based interface for entering command. Before mouse, it was a standard way to interact with a the computer. They are, still in including in they are still included with major operating systems such as Windows and Apple. There are different types of command line interfaces. The two most popular interfaces are DOS for Windows and Bash Shell for Linux and Apple. Every CRI has a command prompt which is displayed when the interface is ready to accept a command. When you press enter, the command is executed. CRIs are often used by network administrators and webmasters for common tasks like transferring files and checking server status. The second type is graphical user interface. Graphical user interface has largely replaced CLIs. Mostly people prefer it. However, some operations can be completed faster using a keyboard instead of a mouse. A GUI lets you use your mouse to click icons, buttons, menus and windows and everything displayed on the screen using a combination of graphics and text. There are also different types of GUIs like Windows, Linux, Mac operating system, Ubuntu, IBM. Each operating system's GUI has a different look and feel. However, modern operating systems are designed to be easy to use and most of the basic principles are same. Here are examples of few operating systems. Microsoft Windows Windows was developed by Microsoft. Nowadays, the, this operating system is used by 90% of the world's personal computers. 
Windows started its journey from Windows 3.1 in 1990s. From then till now, different versions of Windows has been released, like Windows 95, 98, Millennium, NT, XP, Vista, Windows 7, 8, and Windows 10, which is the latest one. Microsoft claims Windows 10 features fast startup and resume built-in security and start menu and start menu in expanded form any qualified device like pc tablet smartphone can upgrade in windows 10 besides this windows permits multitasking plug plug and play support web browsing capabilities more options for customizing the desktop Ability to restore the system, turn a computer on and off automatically, support for large hard disk, support for digital media, easy home net networking. Another popular GUI operating system is Mac. Mac is created by Apple. It is preloaded on all Mac machines. Famous versions of this are Mojave and Sierra. About 10% of the world population uses it. It has same features like Windows with only the difference of a machine. Linux. It is a family of open source operating system means it can be modified and distributed by anyone around the world as windows or mac are modified by the company its advantage is that it is free it has different versions you can choose from most servers run linux because it is easy to modify operating system for mobile devices Mobile devices such as phones, tablets, computers and mp3 players are different from desktop and laptops computers. So they run operating systems designed specifically for mobile devices. The operating systems we have been talking about so far were designed to run on desktop and laptop computers. In this picture you can see i operating systems running on an iPad, iPod, iPhone, iWatch. Mobile and desktop operating systems have very similar features. Only desktop operating systems can afford more memory. Otherwise, they both need they both need to watch memory consumptions, multitasking, both optimized to save power. Dear students, these are the review questions. Try to answer them. If you have any queries, comment on below. Lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.